Hello again and welcome to a new video. This is our 2018 Mercedes A200D AMG line automatic with the premium package. It also has the night package which gives you the black gloss grille down at the front. If I just come in and show you, you've got the chrome there but you'd usually see um, like a silver band on there and as you can see, it's all black gloss. And then down at the bottom in the middle, we've got the black gloss as well. We've also got black gloss mirror caps. And also around the windows, all finished in black gloss as well. We've got the privacy glass at the back. You can see the color of the car a little bit better as we go around the car. So it's got some really nice features on this car. These are the 18 inch multi-spoke AMG alloy wheels. Let's just come in a bit closer. There we go. All of the wheels are in lovely condition. We've just replaced the front two tires on the car as well. Show you this rear one here. If I come in close, you'd probably be able to read the AMG on there as well. If you also look down the side of the car, God, there we go, that's better. You see just how true those panels are. The car's been detailed and machine polished to a really glossy finish. We just come back to the front of the car and come across the front. There's no nasty chips or anything. There's a couple of little tiny specks that I saw Think just around here very minor but up onto the bonnet the bonnet's in lovely condition it's got a complete mirror finish as you can see we've got the daylight running lights as well the LED lights sorry we've got front and rear parking sensors with park assist I think this car also has high beam assist as well. Just show you this front alloy on this side. The car's, like I say, full service history. And then we've just done another service which has all been uploaded onto the Mercedes service database. And we'll have that all printed out so it shows all uniformly for the service history. And it's had a new MOT as well. Again, we'll just look down the side of the car. And then just like to point out all the door edges, all in lovely condition. And if we come up onto the roof, got a little spider there. <laughs> He's just doing a runner to the other side. So it's very mirror-like on the top as well. And we've got some little black trims on the side here. It's just come out. LED lights at the back. There's rear camera on the car as well. When you go into reverse, it sort of folds out from underneath, just up under here. You've got the black gloss trim just down at the bottom where the exhaust pipes are surrounding there. And being the AMG line, I don't know if you noticed, look at the shape of the bumpers, how sporty they look. It's the AMG styling that you're getting on this AMG line. And the bumpers are totally different to some of the other models. So it's a much nicer looking car. And again, if you go back to the front of the car, just come back here. It's the same at the front. It's those sort of scoops that you have in the bottom of the bumper and if I show you from the side look it's the contours of the lines it's just got a lot more shape to it so lovely looking car all of the windscreen just add there's no nasty chips or anything it's very clean we'll take a look inside so we've got the black door cards with the red contrasting stitching. And 
like so. Sorry about the shaking. We've got puddle lights down at the bottom, all lovely and clean all the way down there as well. We've got the lit Mercedes-Benz door sill plates. Try and get out of the light. There we go. The AMG Max. And the seats continue with this red stitching. All in lovely condition. You've got illumination under the headrest there in the side doors. And then the air vents have got the red finish just to add to the interior design. Cup holders, centre armrests. I'll come around and show you from the other side in a second. So we're just going to open up the rear door card on this side. Now there's one thing that we, uh, we spotted before doing the video which we are going to get done by the trim man. There's a little, a few little dents just in there where something's, I don't know, been resting on it or something. We're gonna have that sorted out. So that won't be there when the car goes out. It's just something that we missed. And then, in fact, I think we did see it and then we forgot it was there. So we will get that done. Again, all of the rear, if we just look at the door shuts, there's no damage. No damage to the rubbers or anything. The back of the seats. We've got the lighting under the headrest in the rear as well. I think it's going through changes of colour at the moment. From blue to green to red. You can adjust the colours of the interior lighting. Let's take a look in the boot. Oh, let's shut that door properly. So the boot is really nice and clean. All the carpets, nice and tidy. No stains, no damage. And then the back along uh, the plastic trim here. Sometimes these can get quite badly scuffed, but this is all in lovely condition. There's a little bit, if we come up onto the parcel shelf here, there's a little bit of scuffing on the edge here, which you don't see because it shuts against the back. I think that's what's just worn it. But you won't see that um, at all. Let's just open up the driver's side rear. And the door card on this side's all fine. We've checked it over before the video. No damage on there. All nice and clean. I think the lights might, oh no, they're still on. And then just take you up and around. It's very bright today. It's a lovely day outside. <laughs> We're in here filming. There we go. All the seats. Isofix in there as well. They really light up nicely at night, these cars. There's all lighting in these door handles and as I say, in the headrests. The flooring. So we've got electric folding mirrors on the car as well, which you can fold in when you lock the car up. You can change that option if you wish. And driver door card. Again, let's just make sure this is in focus for you. There we go. No scuffs, no damage. Nothing on the edge. And those lit uh, foot plates. No scratches down here either. Driver's seat. Got this little wheel that, uh, as you bring this wheel round, if I show you the seat, it lifts the front of the seat up or brings it down. Don't know if you can see that because my hand's probably shaking too much. And then all the bolsters are fine. 
auto lights, auto handbrake, keyless start. We jump into the car. Sliding on my server like this move. Shut this door. Might as well start the car. So the mileage is 18,118 miles. Should just turn that down before YouTube has a hissy fit. Now these buttons here, if we come up onto this dash, let me get this in focus. So using, for example, the up arrow will take you through, and by pressing and holding the OK button, we can reset the figures in there. We've also got our eco display, so when you're going along, it's not going to work till we put it in drive, I don't think. We've got the range, and then if we go to the side using the side button, you'll see that menu. Let's just zoom in a bit. There we go. You can display the navigation audio go through the radio stations etc telephone when the telephone's connected um, this section here I just come out of that one actually electronic stability program brake assistant brake active brake assist so basically if you're driving too close to a car in front it will apply the brakes attention assist it will monitor your driving and if you start to sort of the steering wheel has erratic movements it will warn you as well and that's pretty much oh no we've got one more okay service settings so if we go into here and tire pressure monitor and then this one here so it's 347 days less left to the next service we had it done a couple of weeks ago approximately and then come out of there let's go all the way along again sorry and the set oh, the settings instrument cluster change it from miles to kilometers an hour you've got the lighting daytime running lights you can change and then vehicle winter tires automatic door locks acoustic locking and so forth and then the convenience option will be what's that going to be oh the folding in door mirror so this is where you would change that option you can change like so okay so that pretty much gives you everything there we've got let me just pan out again there we go so I think we got I think we've got voice activation as well. Telephone here. We've already looked at these buttons. And then over here, we just come out of there, we've got navigation. You can enter your destination, etc. All different options in there. Go into radio. We've got these shortcut buttons down here as well. So go into radio or your FM. Sorry, so used to the BMWs. AM, preset stations, etc. Media. Now this car has um, obviously got the Bluetooth as it's suggesting on the screen, but it's also got Apple CarPlay and I'm hoping it's not just about to link my phone, so I'm just going to come out of there, hopefully. Good. That wasn't my phone, otherwise it would have stopped the video. So it's got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, I think it's called. So you can display your phone, basically, on this screen. So I'll just come on to the next item information. Okay. Uh, telephone media where's the car picture so in the car vehicle settings dynamic select so we have a button just down here where is it this one just here which is the drive select button 
and in this mode here you can configure each of the options so steering for example you can have it in sport or comfort if we go back we can put the engine mode in sport comfort economy or manual we'll leave it in economy for now if we press the drive select button again you'll see the display on here shows as well but this is the sport preset sport sorry wrong button there we go individual eco comfort etc we've got heated seats down here got the really nice finish inside the car we've got our dual climate control down at the bottom here so we can adjust these individually 12 volt socket down here because it's not a manual and it's the auto you get this extra bit of storage where the gear shift would be cup holders as I say this is a sliding armrest you can lift it up these are your ports where you'd link your phone with a USB as you can see in there locking wheel nut and uh, the SD card for the navigation which is just here. In fact, if we put the navigation on and view map, there's all the navigation. So I think we've pretty much covered everything we need to in here. I'm just going to open the bonnet. He says, Sorry about that. I'll just show you around inside the car. More lighting in here. So let's jump out. And this is the 134 brake horsepower engine. Now I just checked on the Celtic tuning map. The A220 version of this engine, it's the same engine, just the higher brake horsepower. And for 300 pounds plus VAT, this engine can be remapped to the same power, which is 187 brake horsepower. And it'll also give you 299 pounds per foot of torque if you wanted a bit more power. So all lovely and clean under there. been a while since I've been around the Mercedes. I'm so used to doing the BMW, so excuse me for a few quiet moments. <laughs> so, but look, all lovely, clean under there. So like I say, it can all be remapped. Just gonna close this down. Tricky with the camera. So there we have this A200 AMG line in cavern site blue. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. We've got different uh, finance packages. We've got some really great warranty packages that you can upgrade to. Um, please give us a call if you've got any questions on that. But uh, the car is actually ready in the showroom now and it's all ready to go we're just going to get that little bit done on the door that i mentioned so that should be done in the next day or two thank you enjoy the weekend bye